Governance in particular, it's taken about two years to get all the pieces of SIP 1694 together. And it is really an amazing thing to see that Node 9.0 is nearly out. Uh, what's exciting about Node 9.0 is it's the Chang hard fork. It's basically there. Nearly two years later, two years in the working, and Chang Hard Fork is around the corner with people already upgrading to the nine, uh, Node 9.0. What does this mean for Cardano? Why is Cardano's price rallying? And what can we expect once the Chang Hard Fork goes live? I'm going to be answering all those questions in today's video. Now, of course, the video you just witnessed was none other than Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson talking about the importance of governance the Node 9.0, and of course, Chang Hard Fork. If we take a look at the cryptocurrency markets uh, currently, you can see here out of the top 10 over the last seven days, Cardano is the best performing asset, up almost 18%, sitting in at 41.3 cents. We'll get into more of the charts and how Cardano has been faring against Bitcoin a little later in the video. But um, in case you're not familiar with Chang Hard Fork, which is if you're watching, your video, if you're watching this video, you're probably a fan of Cardano probably know all about it. We did do an in-depth video on the Chang Hard Fork, and I'll make sure to drop that link in the description of this video. But here we go from you today. Cardano eyes Chang Hard Fork. Historical surge hints at a potential ADA rally. Scroll down here. So the Chang Hard Fork marks a transformative step into the Voltaire era for Cardano, marking the final stage of its roadmap to create a fully decentralized blockchain ecosystem. Now, I did mention... There's already people who are upgrading and installing the new uh, Node 9.0, one of them being Stake with Pride, one of the larger, I don't want to call them influencers, but accounts that deal with and follow Cardano. So Cardano 9.0 Node installed on the first relay and validating. Now, Cardano is doing this in a two-step approach. Uh, this headline article from DailyCoin.com, Cardano Chang Hard Fork, basically there for July launch. So we're only a, a mere few days, couple weeks away from the first phase of this thing going live. Now, I did mention first phase. Uh, there's going to be two phases of this chain hard fork. The first phase will focus on rolling out core governance features such as on-chain voting mechanism. And the second phase, which is what we're super excited about and the community is very excited about, not that phase one isn't exciting, but uh, we'll introduce more advanced features, including the delegated representative system, and the community-led treasury withdrawals. This is a massive one. Close to $1 billion of ADA uh, will be unlocked, will be available for the community, the delegates, the representatives. If you're an ADA holder, you can vote on proposals. How do you want to spend this treasury money? Do you want to onboard uh, users? Do you want to bring in projects to build? Do you want to build partnerships? Do you want to bring a native stable coin on Cardano? And a lot of people in the community talk about, hey, we don't have a USDC. We don't have USDT. Well, these are all things you can vote on, and the money is set aside for you there to be able to vote, come together as a community, and figure out how you want to spend the money and grow the Cardano network. Uh, this phased approach allows for gradual adoption and refinement of the new governance structures, potentially mitigating risks associated with such a significant change. We also have uh, part of the big Voltaire era in the Chang Hard Fork is the uh, gov or the institu or constitutional committee. Uh, and so this is intersex constitutional member body council. Uh, it's got a list of people here. And so think of it like a government, right? Uh, as an ADA holder, you can either vote yourself or you can delegate your voting power to these delegated representatives. These are people that the community votes on that represents uh, each governing council member and they ultimately get your voting power, but this is something you give to them. And so very unique how the Cardano ecosystem has grown and the next era of it going to, uh, it's very, very exciting to see where the community really takes this project and to see the full vision of the Cardano community who's been there through thick and thin, really, uh, really see this thing play out. We also had some uh, partnership news here. This is from and MKR on the uh, X handle, you might have already heard rumors and we're happy to report FC Barcelona is coming to Cardano. Now, FC Barcelona is one of the uh, the most popular uh, soccer or football leagues, depending on what part of the world you live in, uh, in the entire world, teams, not leagues, in the entire world. And uh, they are partnering and working with Cardano. Well, you can see here, pretty massive account, almost 50 million followers. You're also seeing a sentiment shift on social media like X, YouTube, 
far as Cardano, you see, I've seen a lot of posts of, oh my God, my first time downloading the Vesper wallet or the Nami wallet and playing around in the ecosystem. Man, this is pretty good. It's very user friendly. It's fast. It's scalable. Whatever the case may be. So sentiment is starting to change. We're also seeing change in some on-chain metrics, including uh, whale holdings and large transactions. This is from newsbtc.com. Cardano sees over a 1,200% spike in this major metric. Uh, what major metrics are they talking about? Uh, they're talking about whale inflow, so large transaction inflows, up 1,220%. We take a look comparing from July 5th to July 9th, excuse me, July 8th to July 9th, went from 14.51 million to 110 million ADA as far as inflows into whale addresses, uh, which is a much larger increase than 1,200%, representing around 3,800%. So money is moving on chain. Speaking of on chain, we take a look at TVL from DeFi Llama. Out of the top 30, Cardano has the second highest uh, growth, uh, seven day over seven day out of anything else in the top 30 here outside of one, which is Scroll, which I'm not very familiar with Scroll, but apparently it's got 564 million in total value lock. Cardano coming in at number 29 with $224 million dollars of TVL, you can see here all the different protocols, number one being, of course, MinSwap, the leading DEX for Cardano. If we zoom in here on the TVL, you can see, looks like we hit a local bottom here, right around, this was around 100, sub $200 million uh, market, or TVL, where over 220 million, uh, the highest Cardano had gotten uh, was half a billion dollars, and that was back on March of 2024, at least in this time frame. And so now with smart contracts, now moving into the Voltaire era, what can we expect with TVL from Cardano? Is it going to get to that billion-dollar mark? We take a look at some of its competitors, right? You take a look at Solana, right? Where's Solana at? Solana's got $4.4 billion, excuse me, $4.3 billion in TVL. You look at something like Polygon. Uh, 838 million in total value locked. Avalanche, 746 million in TVL. So Cardano should be up there as far as the playing field. And who knows when the treasury is unlocked and people get to vote and bring new dApps and projects into the ecosystem, what kind of explosive growth can we see in TVL? You see explosive growth in TVL. Wallet addresses grow, transactions grow, the network grows, users grow, the price grows, everyone makes a lot of money. Congratulations. Now, Speaking of making a lot of money, Cardano, 41.4 cents yet again. Now, it did have an all-time high market cap of around 98 point, we'll call it $100 billion. And we're currently about a 7X away. And so what I want to remind people is that massive run Cardano went on was without any utility, nothing. No smart contracts, no NFTs, no DeFi, no tokens, no nothing. We're going into a cycle now where we have all that in place. It's been battle tested, it's been tried. It's true, it had its no degradation, right? Cardano functioned completely fine, no failed transactions. In fact, it recovered by itself without the need for any uh, any person to jump in, restart the network, turn it off, whatever the case may be, proving truly how decentralized Cardano really is. I think that's going to attract a lot of the solid builders who are looking to do exciting things, not to mention what Cardano is doing in Latin America, more specifically Argentina, and what's going to come out of that uh, big potential partnership. We take a look at how ADA, as far as a chart, how ADA has been performing against Bitcoin. We are seeing a breakout against BTC, taking out this local top here uh, that we hit around three times, going all the way back to the uh, to the beginning of June. This is only four hour. If we zoom out to the daily, looks pretty good as well. The level that I would want to clear, as you can see here as I zoom out, we've essentially been bleeding off against Bitcoin since the end of last year. And if we zoom out a little further, uh, really been bleeding off against Bitcoin since the market top. But to be fair, everything bled off against Bitcoin. But Cardano was looking to reverse course, change it up the first level we need to take out here to really get a reversal change for the uh, Bitcoin ADA chart. It's going to be this level here, which we tapped twice. And for us to take out that level, we need to see a rise in Cardano against Bitcoin of around 10%. Now, if we go to ADA and dollar, um, this is ADA on the daily. We did break above this downtrend here. So this downtrend started back in around March 26th of this year. Uh, it's proven to be pretty good resistance all the way down as we have tried to reclaim this level multiple times. 
even seeing some tight price action consolidation right around this level uh, between June 5th and around June 13th. We did break above it uh, briefly. This was back on July 1st. Broke down below in one candle. Got rejected on the first re uh, reattempt. And now we finally broke above. Are we going to start seeing maybe price pull back a little bit and flip this trend line from resistance to support? If we do see a reversal and a essentially a bump and run and retest of the support, you're looking at around a 35.5 cent ADA. Now I'm going to remove this line and I want to show you on the four hour we throw in our Ichimoku cloud. Gives us a, uh, a, a, a really clear representation of where is the trend for the price of ADA, and you can see the trend is very good. Price is trading above both of our EMA lines. The cloud is green, and the lagging indicator is below price. This is great. Now, if we zoom out to the daily, we could potentially see some resistance immediately as we are currently trading right at the lower bound of that cloud. Now, this does, uh, does give you some really good support and resistance levels. As you can see here, back on May 20th, an absolute perfect resistance as price got rejected after it hit around 50 cents. Now, since then, the cloud has been trending down. It is still red. So on the daily, we do need to break above this cloud and start seeing green in this area here. Uh, but we could see a potential scenario where we break into the cloud, chop sideways for a little bit, and then have another leg up. We could potentially see a rejection. If we do see a rejection, that 35.5 cent level is the one we want to look at for ADA on the four hour. Uh, but we know how Cardano moves. This thing could just absolutely blow through this Ichimoku cloud and start taking out highs such as 50.6 cents. The next one would be around 61.9 cents. We saw Cardano have a local high of around 81 cents. Once this thing gets moving, as people get more and more excited about Voltaire and voting and hey, I want to have some ADA token because I want to be able to vote and governance and be able to spend some of the money that's uh, allocated for the community in the Cardano foundations, uh, in the wallet, in the treasury. So a lot of exciting things are happening on Cardano. Price is moving fast. What are your thoughts on everything that is happening in Cardano? Are you excited for Voltaire? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one.